Hi everyone again. So um, if, if we've basically learned that nature plays such an important role in our health, our well-being and our sense of place, then we were wondering why um, is the placemaking movement has grown mostly as a process that tends to ignore nature. So when placemaking is done really well, the designer, the facilitators, they come into the room without an agenda. Uh, they're letting the conversation um, be led by the community and their ideas to emerge and shine through. But in the process of doing that, um, they, they will be sharing their values and their needs. Um, but sometimes they may not be aware of everything that they value. So therefore, during an engagement process, we think it's a really good idea to find ways to frame the discussion so that you actually prompt people actively to think about nature and encourage them to reflect on their innate connection to nature and how important it is um, in the ways that they value place. So, you know, asking questions that um, focus on how nature gives essence and meaning to people's lives and, and what are the good memories that nature evokes uh, are ways of being able to actively um, uh, open space in discussions so that people think about nature. So I'll give you an example. When um, I've been facilitating many workshops around placemaking and uh, many times the conversation focuses on the physical attributes of place and what people can do in that place as well. Um, but there was this one time we were facilitating a workshop and rather than asking people um, to tell us their name and then where they work for um, and what they do, we just frame the question of what is your favorite place? And then I use myself as an example, and I started by saying my name, of course, and then going, my favorite place is oak forests, which is true, by the way, definitely my favorite place. Um, and as soon as that happened, I like we could see how everybody shifted in their mindset, and they all started responding with, um, things that connected to their heart and a lot of them were nature. So basically about half the room ended up saying some natural spaces like parks and lakes and forests. And then the other half were um, talking about home. That's their favorite place. And just by using me as an example, made them think differently and opened up their minds to the natural places that they love. So our sense of place is not limited, of course, to a single area. We all have a portfolio of places that we love because they've been important in um, some part of our lives and, and maybe we have good memories from them and so on. They give us meaningful experiences that we enjoy um, at present and, and they're important for those we love as well. So finding ways to evoke those memories and experiences and how they relate to nature is a great way of delving into nature discussions and really enriching um, that process. And then also making sure that in the process you use strategies that allow people to uh, not only state the, the things or places they love but also to visualize them and then often in that visualization is where we can start to see nature coming through um, and with that it allows them it allows people to reflect and identify how nature is important to their individual sense of place um, so really in summary for us uh, the very first place of starting to integrate place uh, nature into placemaking is by uh, going from a people-centric focus to thinking on socio-ecological systems and finding ways to frame the discussion so that rather than asking, do you like nature, you're asking instead um, certain prompt questions that um, evoke their memories and the innate biophilia.